You have been looking for some strategy to invest your savings or have had trouble finding a route to follow? In this video, I will teach you a strategy that requires minimal effort and you will not have to be following the market day by day. This method is called Three Funds Portfolio. First, what is a Three Fund Portfolio? Well, it's an investing strategy where you create a portfolio that only contains three assets. This includes stocks and bonds via three index funds, typically a US stock index fund, an international stock index fund, and a US bond index fund. Let's see some benefits of this strategy. First, you will have a well diversified portfolio, and this is because you don't have to figure out what to pick from 1000 stocks. With this strategy, you focus only on picking three funds. This eliminates the risk of being over diversified or not diversified enough. Also, this strategy has a very low cost respect to other investment strategies because it's subject to low expense ratios. And from a tax perspective, this strategy is very efficient. Costs matter because what seems like just a small percentage fee can make a massive cut in your returns. And finally, this strategy also has an easy rebalancing. Remember that rebalancing is the process of periodically adjusting portfolio allocations to make sure you're still on target. Imagine a traditional buy and hold investor who may have 40 or more companies to monitor. Compared to this, rebalancing a three fund portfolio is insanely easy and even more relaxed when using a free tool like personal capital for automatic monitoring. Now let's find out what assets allocation fits you. As its name implies, this portfolio consists of three assets, but the actual allocation across each asset class can vary. If you are an aggressive investor, you can do a 64% in US stocks, 16% in international stocks, and 20% in bonds. Or if you are in the middle of risk tolerance, you can do it 33% in US stocks, 33% in international stocks, and 33% in bonds. And if you want to do it conservatively, you can do 14% in US stocks, 6% in international stocks, and 80% in bonds. Suppose you want to make a more personal decision. Take these two factors into account. First, decide the weight of the bonds and stocks. If you are early on your retirement trajectory, you may want to choose a portfolio that is heavily weighted in stocks. This allows you to grow your portfolio more aggressively initially. Bonds, on the other hand, provide security, but their returns are much more conservative. And then decide the allocation percentages. You may be wondering how best to allocate between stocks and bonds. A straightforward way to do it is to use your age with the 100 minus your age formula. The way this works is that you assume your age is equal to the percentage shares of bonds in your portfolio and the rest is allocated towards stocks. For example, if you are 30 years old, you could allocate 70% to stocks and 30% to bonds. Now that you know what this strategy is about and have all the necessary info to get started, let me give you a tip and this is to set a goal. With a goal in mind, you know what you are investing. If your goal is to retire with this money, ask yourself this question. How much money do I need to retire? Consider the type of lifestyle you want to live and do the math of how much you need. Many people can't get this number, some because they are too far from retirement and others don't know how much they need. It's ok, experts have come up with a simple alternative to get this number. This formula is known as the 4% rule. For example, if you can comfortably live with $40,000 a year, you need to have a million dollars and that money can last your entire retirement. So, it's that simple, find out how much money do you need annually multiplied by 25, and that's the money you need to retire. The amount you need annually will represent the 4% of your total amount needed, and is known as your withdrawal rate. Take into account that 4% is a safe rate, more than that can make you run out of money earlier. And to finalize, I wanna show you some of the best funds you can buy in each category. In the US stock category, we have the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund with an spend ratio of 0.04%, the Vanguard 500 Index Fund with an spend ratio of 0.04%, and the Schwab Total Stock Market Index Fund with an spend ratio of 0.03%. For the international stock market, we have the Vanguard Total International Stock Index Fund with an expense ratio of 0.11%, the Fidelity Zero International Index Fund without the expense ratio, and the Schwab International Index Fund with an expense ratio of 0.06%. And for the bonds funds, we have the Vanguard Total Bond Market Index Fund with an expense ratio of 0.05%. The Fidelity US Bond Index Fund with an spend ratio of 0.025%. And finally, the Schwab US Aggregate Bond Index Fund with an expense ratio of 0.04%. 
that will be all for today. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.